Hello everyone! Does any of you think that all of students have a classroom? Of course, we will say no. In our educations have a problem that lacks in facilities. Some of parts of our barangays or barrio, cities, and rural area that lacks in school materials, lacks in funds, lacks in teachers, and many more. Will you go drop if your school are so far in your home? Most will say no because we have an easy transportation. What will you think if the school classroom have a few students? Will you think that the teachers will not hold a class? Of course, teacher will proceed to class and that is their duty. This is also the problem in our education until now. Some students are left behind, some just go drop because of a poverty. Some will choose to help their parents or rather will go to work than go to school. Some are not able to go to school because when going to school are more dangerous than we experience in a urbanized city. Have you ever heard a multi-grade classroom? How about this purpose? Now, accompany me and let's watch this video. I hope you will understand and learn in our documentations. What is a multi-grade classes? Multi means plenty, many, or more than one. The word grade means level. Multi-grade, therefore, means plenty. A multi-grade classroom refers to a class that has two or more grade level of children in one classroom. It involves students or different age and developmental levels with different skills and learning abilities learning together with one teacher. The other levels for multi-grade education is multi-age, mixed-age, vertical grouping, combination, composite, double-grade, split-grade, dual-age, hyphenated, and etc. So these levels only means that it is A with multi-grade classes. When we say double-grade or split-grade or dual-age, you are referring to a multi-grade education or multi-grade classes. It is often implemented in elementary schools located at remote and sparsely populated localities. Multi-age groupings may be implemented for institutional or pedagogical reasons by the administrations of the schools, but the outcome is that students are able to interact across age groups and have long-term relationships with other students and teachers. What is the nature of multi-grade classes? Program made for students in several of two to three grade levels with one teacher for complete year. It involves students of various ages and developmental levels with different skills and learning abilities, learning along with one teacher. Grade levels during a single classroom is three grade levels inside that handling by one multi-grade teacher. The prescribed number of multi-grade students within the Philippines is according from Tepe Order 96 Series 1987, Organization of Multi-Grade Classes, Regional Directors and School Division, Superintendent shall organize multi-grade classes to produce access to college for kids in far-flung barangays and to finish in complete school. The minimum enrollment of 8 pupils and also the maximum of 35 pupils per class shall be observed. Reason for existence of multi-grade, it is organized as a matter of necessity for remote barangay where the amount of learners enrolled could not meet the desired number to prepare one grade class and assign the mandatory teacher for every class. Then the distance of the bar and the little number of students for every class. And lastly, the shortage of funds, teachers, and faculty buildings. The role of teacher in multi-grade classes as facilitator with the relationship with community. And lastly, teach by imparting meaningful knowledge, values, and attitude, not just only follow a curriculum. Multi-grade schools apply the same K-12 curriculum 
used by grade schools to cater to learners in hard-to-reach communities with limited education options in rural areas where grade schools are not feasible. Multi-grade instruction responds to the call for more access to quality education for all of them led by community members themselves. Multi-grade education is a viable delivery modality to improve the quality of learning of elementary pupils in remote, underserved, and sparsely populated communities for two reasons. The first reason is that the multi-grade class size is relatively small compared to a regular grade school. This maximizes time for teacher instruction and student learning. Also, the amount of time students spend on school-related tasks is optimized because teachers employ differentiated instructional strategies in a class with two or more grade levels. Providing different but appropriate learning activities allows individual pupils to learn according to their development level. Interest or learning based differentiated instruction strategies allow teachers to engage students by accommodating their learning styles and provide multiple ways to understand concepts using self-contained areas of the classroom, where students engage in self-directed learning. The second way multi-grade education improves quality is that multi-grade curriculum materials such as budget of work, daily lesson plan, daily lesson log, and integrated multi-grade lesson plan have made teaching a lot easier for multi-grade teachers. Multi-grade classes are usually present in elementary school in remote areas where few students are in a one-year level. The teacher then handle multiple grade level at a time. According to Clement 2004, the result revealed that there were intrinsic, extrinsic, and system challenges experienced by their teacher. These challenges involve unpreparedness in teaching multi-grade include our low multi-grade allowance, the experience of stress, language barrier, classroom management struggles, lack of resources, and lack of training. The systematic challenges were mostly related to not getting enough support from the district authority responsible for education in terms of providing the required materials. As a result, teacher had to spend money for supplying these materials. Another stress issue was related to security. Some teachers opined that required caution were not taken. Lastly, salaries were an issue that teacher complained about. Teachers' views about these challenges were as follows. Required more preparation of curriculum learning, more investment in organization of the classroom as learning environment, and lastly, more care careful study of learning development characteristic across the age level involved in the class approaches and strategies that are effective and viable within a multi-grade classes. Through the, this experience, student and teacher learn and add student and teacher learn to adjust and cope with the challenges they were facing as they become better educators. As a result of this documentary, we learned and we saw the situation in multi-grade classes in the Philippines. Multi-grade classes is also called a multi-age group. It refers to a class that has two or more grade levels of children in one classroom. There are some reasons why multi-grade classes exist. But the major reason is the shortage of funds, teachers, and school buildings in some poorest area. We all know not all places have the power to give better quality of education. That's why some students experiencing low quality of education but still they continue to study for their dreams. There are a lot of challenges in multi-grade classes. These challenges involves unpreparedness in teaching multi-grade, experiencing stress, workload, absenteeism, lack of resources, and many more. 
those challenges can be hindrance to the students in pursuing their dreams. Not only for the students but also to the teachers who wants to teach in a better way. Also, multi-grade classes have advantages. It can maximum social interaction between peers. It can learn to assume leading and supporting role as needed in different work situations. And also, multi-grade classes can prepare students in real life. As we are the future educators and to be able to help in improving the effectiveness of multi-grade classes in our country. Therefore, we present some ideas that we hope can do help in the future, particularly to the progress of more inclusive, accessible, and in attaining a high-quality education. The various problems and challenges of multi-grade classes have already been addressed and as for providing possible solution we think of. First is that we shall have a good managing governance who are responsible in addressing the needs of schools, community, and people. Especially for those who are in some ruler places such as tribes and other indigenous communities in improving different programs and support for financial aid. The such widening and strengthening the facilities, infrastructures, appropriate useful educational resources, despite of many circumstances. Second is for making programs like a training or seminars. The empowerment of teacher skills and knowledges in handling and teaching multi-grade classes, and to have suitable planning of instructions and teaching strategies and producing learning materials that are aligned in the curriculum. And also, the teacher's willingness and motivation in imparting learning is important, in which they should always consider the student's diversity. In terms of their abilities, talent, interest, and grade levels, remember, we are the 21st century educators. We are into students and we are responsible in making education integrated and interdisciplinary within proper utilization of technology. As we unite all together, we can make a better successful, bright future.